Alright, well, I mean, me personally, I, I blame Twitch and YouTube because Mars became more of a content creator than a competitor. True, That's the yeah. real reason why yeah, yeah, Josie yeah. fell off. But I mean, Mar Mars also upgrading characters, so to speak. And I think for Zero Suit to succeed in this meta, in my opinion, you have to play timeout Zero Suit. And my goodness. 107? Hey, hey, all the Steves, all the Steves say this matchup is uh, bad for Steve. <laughs> they would. <laughs> they would. That's crazy. But again, I, I just feel like optimal Zero Suit nowadays is you can't play that in your face aggressive style that Mars loves to play, right? You have to get that one hit and just start running away because Zero Suit, at the end of the day, doesn't have enough return on offensive right. commitment, but you have incredible mobility. So you're really good at running away from your opponent, but when you finally do get a hit, what, your jabs do, what, 8% or something like that? Like, we've seen Mars play and get these hard reads and get like maybe one to two hits. Right. And that's it. It's just the way the character works. It feels like as characters come out too with DLC, there's so many hitboxes that'll just stuff, right? You just throw right. them out and they cover so much distance. Steve being one of the, you know, primary offenders on that one. And uh, meanwhile, Zero Suit just kind of has to retreat, go more the inkling route. Because yep. she's very good at getting hits, just doesn't get much else. And right now, Yanni just, with a fast lead, just needs an ample or a back air that'll do it three stocks to one. Yeah, and that, that's the thing about characters in this current meta, because, I mean, we, we talked about return earlier, right? Zero Suit not getting too much return off of the hits. Well, look at Steve, look at Kazuya. It's Return City. <laughs> that's all they get is return. Yeah, you land Sometimes, one hit and you get a stock. Yeah, it's it's absolutely insane here. Can you make it back with the right angle? Absolutely you can. And I, I remember when Steve first came out, everyone was like, oh, I don't know about this recovery, not so great, but Steve's figured out different glide angles, very very similar to like uh, Meta Knight. Meta Knight had very different right. glide angles in Brawl. So kind of dipping into that kind of tech and understanding like, oh, okay, with this specific angle, you get a lot of beautiful tech on the block there. I thought that recovery was trash. Oh, I'm not I, afraid to say it. I thought surface he was level. garbage. Yeah, yeah, surface level, yeah. And then, you know, people labbed it out and figured out like, oh, hey, if you actually hit this specific angle after doing this, you like raise way higher up, so. I love the weight there on Pancake, hitting that whip. Uh, at the very end to get that stock. Not running in, not trying to force anything like a boost kick on shield or anything like that, using all of his resources. And Yanni builds the L. Oh, uh, yeah. There it is. We're, we're spelling words out here. We're I don't think they even notice they're doing it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I don't even think this is a thought to them. I think they just built something. And there we go, Yanni uh, man dismantling Pancake on that one. That's going to be the first stock. Or I'm sorry, the first game there. Ooh. And God, and Vault 107 after the hit. Good yeah, Lord. Yeah, and that, that's the thing about Steve. We talked about return uh, just off of a stray hit, right? Like, you have back air. Great stray hit. Very great. Like, having a move where you space out a neutral and it KOs, it's so strong, right? On right. top of that, you're going for these close-range tilts that are very safe on block, and that's why Yanni's able to go for things like this forward smash, because a very common thing to do in those situations is roll out of the pressure. You can't punish it out of shield, right? These jabs, these up tilts, and then you can just go for the the roll read, and it looks like, wow. And that roll read sent Pancake straight to the uh, another character in the select screen here. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, we're switching out the Wolf on this one. Like you were saying, I mean, death. the right. Steves did say, uh, that, wow, they got sudden death? That's pretty, uh, like I said, impressive. I've never seen that before. They got sudden death after both SDA. Wow. That means both of their characters have to have similar speed. They have to SD at the same times. Yeah. Wow, that's beautiful. Frame Fate. perfect, if you will. Yeah. It did die on the same frame. Uh, but yeah, so... Oh, wait. It is Zero Suit. Oh, so he just picked the wrong character. Never oh, mind. Never okay. mind. <laughs> I, I was going to say, I mean, you were saying that, you know, Steve players feel like they lose this matchup. Um, I, I, I don't know if Wolf would have been the play. Obviously, Wolf, great character. We both know that. Yeah. Always the old standby. But would that be the play if it's not your real main? But nope. Sticking with Zero Suit here. Yeah, and I mean... Every time Pancake tries to get an opening, Yanni calls it out, gets a good amount of damage. Calls it out, gets a good amount of damage. And another thing as well is... Oh! Oh, whoa. Oh, oh, buried on the anvil. <laughs> man, you... Need, a lot anvil, of weird interactions. Yeah, anvil OP, man. Yeah, You anvil. can get diamonds from anvils. <laughs> you get grounded in anvils. Whoa. What else do I need to learn about anvil this It's just weekend? a big box of mysteries. <laughs> Who knows what it holds? <laughs> KOs you at like 80% with bad DI. It's a magical move. And you can see there, Pancake... Trying oh, no. to go out there. Oh, go maybe a little bit too far. Yeah, I, I think Pancake wanted to land on the stage. 
All right, we're, we're building everything. We got the TNT at the top of the mountain here. It falls down. <laughs> oh, man, this character, man. What a fitting character to add into this game. Like, it is goofy ass, just yep. constant chaos, stuff all the time. Like, I, I love the way that he's presented in this game. Oh, yeah. Steve is a treat. Literally playing Minecraft and Smash. Yeah. That's what you're doing here. Brought a whole new generation, too. All these, yeah. like, you know, young teenagers coming out playing Steve and getting some big wins, man. Oh, yeah. It's a new world. Okay, here's the uh, the block set up here by the edge. Tries to go for the grab. That grab right there. Yeah. Oh, wow. Beautiful tech, but look at the coverage coming out from Yanni. Yeah, the, after that tech, Pancake just kind of sat there for a while on that block, and that led into Ford Smash. Didn't even know he had that much time. All right, we're going to break the table. That is the counterplay in yeah, that yeah. situation. You want to break the table so that uh, he can't just keep stalling off on the side like this. Yeah. Yeah, you can't. So right there, Yanni is actually mining underneath the stage. Right. So he's setting up the blocks there. But look at this, very low on resources because Pancake was destroying the crafting table. If there's no crafting table on stage, one will automatically spawn on top of Steve, but obviously if you're off stage, right. it just goes off. And this time, Pancake is going to be able to sink this first stock here, but the diamond already on deck, and that's trouble. Yeah, already a full stock up. I know Pancake probably kicking himself after the way that first stock went. And you saw it there. So we were talking about Zero Suit openings. Pancake went for that read with the flip kick, right? Right. But it feels like Steve could just be stubborn and force through with Minecart. And with Zero Suit, if you try to finesse, if you try to get fancy or go for like an extended read or something, right, right there, it's like you just throw out a hitbox. And on Steve, it's just very uh, difficult to get through that or have an opportunity to not just have a hitbox in your face, you know? Yeah, and, and by no means does Steve have the greatest disadvantage. Right. But the thing about Steve's disadvantage is it hurts. Yeah. When you get reversaled and, like, you had the advantage versus Steve and you get reversaled by something like an anvil, anything that costs metal, right, the anvil, the minecart, you can lose your stock. Right. You can take a ton of damage. So it's just one of those characters that you have to respect so much in disadvantage. You command so much space here. Another diamond on deck here, but oh, no pickaxe. You want to talk about commanding respect. You can see Pancake trying to force the issue here. And Yanni just throwing out a few fours, man. Just, just a threat to yeah. say, I could pop this. Oh, wow, no tech. And right there we see Steve, or we see Yanni actually building the wall behind him. So he has that availability. And wow, the normal getup getting caught by the backside of the down smash. The stare off there goes for a nil. Into the forward smash, not gonna quite connect here. Both players at high percentage. Oh, get snatched up this by the minecart. Oh. No, okay. Going off super far. No pickaxe this whole time, by the way. Yeah. Just not a sword and a dream. Just using their hand to dig through the earth. <laughs> <laughs> that must hurt. <laughs> and you're getting materials. That you dug up a diamond? You picked a diamond out of the ground. With your bare hands. Ugh, those things are hard. Yo, Steve got hands? <laughs> <laughs> Must have incredible grip strength. <laughs> what a strong young man. No materials really on Yanni, but I don't think they, they, they really care about it. Yanni realizes he has another stock up. Yeah. He's able to just kind of play with his food now, you know? Right, right. Steve is very talented as well. Uh, up throw? Knows how to fish. You know, got the fishing rod. And of course, the up throw, having a vertical KO throw. I would not say it is a, a KO throw. I guess it, I would say it's more of a, a throw, throw that kills. throw that kills, a yeah, yeah, that kills, yeah. You know? But no, that's a really good point that I didn't consider is that... Uh, it's vertical. It's vertical, yeah. Very so broken. In, in <laughs> Smash the games, there's this weird, like, 